Alright, this is the bonus video for the rare items, as I promised I'd do. Unfortunately, like I said in the Let's Play, I was unable to actually uh, keep the files where I actually went out and got them. So I'll just show you them in here and tell you how to get them. This here is the Lavudanda Blade. <clears throat> you get it on Rosa, and let's see here. It's only be done when chapter after chapter 11 starts. You go north from the teleporter um, Rosa Ancient Ruins near the tunnel and find a character named Muscule. He has a blue orb next to him. Talk to him and he'll tell you about the strange creature down the labyrinth near the core. You go down there and you'll find this creature, a strange animal, and has a blue orb next to his name. Talk to him and he'll give you the, lo the Lavendam Blade. The next one is right here. This is... Chiska's Necklace. You can get it in Johannesburg Plaza. Well, I'll teleport there first. <laughs> You'll find a man by the name of Rydal, with a blue orb next to his name. If you talk to him, like, three or four times, you'll get a log entry. <laughs> if you actually listen to it, he'll start talking about this necklace and so on. And you go to um, near Joanna's uh, house, and there is a building near her house. If you go around back of it, there's a plant, a, pl a pot and a plant. If you examine it, you'll get the Shiska's necklace. The next one on the list is those. Those are the Lepogon Mammoth Tusks. Really simple. Um, first, finish the quarry um, Tower Beast. It'll be a... or the Tower Predator. It'll be a... the Mammoth, basically. Uh, leave the bridge and come back in, and you'll find a man named Watts Kulis there. If you don't find him there, uh, finish, the finish the towers, and go back. If he's still not there, uh, kill the Tower Mador. Anyway, talk to him, and he'll yell at you about how it's such a shame that you killed the creature, because the bones are very rare, especially the tusks. And they fetch Pretty Penny. So teleport to Galaxy Corporation entrance and go towards the towers, but don't go towards any of them. To the left, if you're facing the towers, there's a girl named Linda. Talk to her and she'll mention that the bo some bones fell from the sky and two um, Rosencaster guards took them and went to the took them to the waste area. So go there and examine the head of the Mark Eight sal Salamander, and you'll get the tusks. The next one is... Where is it? Oh. No? Probably should look for it first before I did all this, huh? Oh, right there it is. Oop, let me back up. That is the Mirror of Truth. This can be done as soon as you get every character and you have the ability to switch between them. Go to the Spaceport Depot and run south towards the train. But instead of going on the train, run to the far uh, back right, if you're facing the trains, to find a guy named Geyser, or Geezer. Um, talk to him at least once with all eight of your characters, and he'll give you the Mirror of Truth. After you go back to Jaster and talk to him once more one more time. The next one is right here. <laughs> the Annals of Hades. Uh, really simple, just get the Platinum License, then go to Corvus Shop and buy the Annals of Hades. The next one is... This one, kind of creepy. This is the character mug. <clears throat> Alright, teleport to east side near the Insectron Stadium. Walk towards the tunnel, towards the Fountain Plaza. And right before the tunnel starts, you'll see a man named Okatan. He will tell you that someone uh, stole... The uh, doll of his, and that he works for in the um, <coughs> spaceship factory near Picacho's lab. So teleport to near entrance, and you'll find Lolik. No, it didn't tell you about Picacho's lab. You teleport to the spaceship uh, factory near the end entrance, and talk to a guy named Lolik. He's on the left side of the factory. He'll tell you that he saw a coworker run in carrying his weird doll, and he works for Picacho. So talk to. Go to Picacho's lab, and you'll find... Go inside, and check the cardboard box on the right side of the room, and you'll find the character mug inside of it. Now, if you leave and talk to Ikarot, he'll give you a perfect elixir for, for, to keep quiet. Uh, 
the next one is... Where? Ah. It's one. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Um, this is Arben's Chalice. <laughs> Before you can get this, you have to have everyone have a Draken-based outfit, so jungle. Uh, Lilica has her own at the beginning. You get Jaster's on Jiraiya at chest, and you get Kisala's from a uh, quarry. It is the um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a it's a it's a giant ape on Vidan. Basically, you need to use the lipstick on it. And you go to the spring, and in the back you'll find an old lady named Balmon. She will you talk to her a few times, and she'll give you Arben's chalice. Oh, first you have to... Sorry, I forgot to mention this. <laughs> it's kind of important. Teleport to Pakakwa Village, near the path of the exit. Go north a little bit, and you'll find Soi. Talk to him twice, and he'll tell you about the old lady in the chalice and how you need the costumes. And then you go through all that. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... This one. This is a Roxasha's Heart. Um, teleport to the Vidan Orphan's Hideout, and go up the ladder into the platform above the ruins. <laughs> this is before you can go down into the sewers. You'll find a little girl named Minty. Talk to her, and she'll mention that um, she saw a friend of hers uh, take something and throw it in a trash can. It was red. <laughs> teleport to the item shop near Corbett's and check the trash cans. You can find a dog named Borsh walking by barking at a trash can. He'll usually be able to <laughs> He'll usually bark at the one that has the heart in it, but it's usually the one around uh, the Corbett shop. And the last one is this little thing, Mrs. Robo. <laughs> Mrs. Robo, you can get through um, <laughs> the factory called the factory blueprints called Mechanical Odd Jobber. You talk to the girl just to the left inside the factory once it starts getting into those crazy tunnels. And she'll give you the blueprint. All you need is eight nano memory, th uh, one O3 CPU, one biofeedback circuit, and two walkie-talkie, and you get it. And just to show you the items, Lavender Blade, a beautiful artistic sword. Its engravings date back to the era of the Star King. Shiska's necklace, a necklace with a clear jewel. Carrying it makes you feel wistful for some reason. The Lapogon Mammoth Tusks. A bone from the biggest, strongest mammoth ever, said to have gone extinct 1,000 years ago. Mira Truth. Its straight, unadulterated, un unadulterated uh, statements are like words from heaven. Annals of Hades, aka the, ha the Hades Chronicle, a history book written in the mysterious ancient lettering. Character's Mug. This doll's smile is said to be the sign of the apocalypse. Its lips are beginning to curl up. Arben's Chalice, the grill of the dark elves that flourished long ago, could once turn any liquid into wine. Raksha's Heart, a heart-shaped crystal, put your ear to it and you hear a strange rhythm. And Maid Robot Betty, a robot helper at, a helper robot as you'd expect, despite her look, she's pretty popular among robot fans. And that is all of the rare items. I shall see you in the next bonus video. Bye!